Okay, so this is the screen recording two bars, and uh, here is a pause button, and this is a stop button, and we have a scissors button. This button. Uh, this button is very interesting, because when you click on this button, you will save the first the first part of your screen recording and your screen recorder will start recording again and again so uh, you have different parts uh, while recording a long uh, a long screen recording uh, for example when I click here Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record your computer screen using Ace Movie Video Editor. So this is a new video editing software that I recommended to you in my previous video. And it has a built-in screen recorder, which I think is very powerful for those of you who want to record your computer screen and record mouse cursor and record audio from system sound and audio from your microphone. First thing first, uh, this is a free video editing software, meaning that you can download at the link I put in the description and you can try all the features of this program. By the way, when you export to uh, export the video, your output will be watermarked if you don't have a license. Uh, if you want to purchase the license, don't forget to use my 40% discount coupon code I put at the link in the description. Okay, so let's go to the software. Uh, here I am inside Ace Movie Video Editor and let it enlarge it. Uh, so at the at the main user interface, uh, we have this option uh, to record, meaning that you need to record your uh, computer screen and you can click on this button. Uh, when I click on that, a new toolbar will be open. So I think it's uh, pretty simple here. So the name is Toonkiss AM Recorder and you have some uh, option here the first one uh, is the screen if you want to record your computer screen you need to click on this button and the next thing you want to select the resolution for your uh, for your recording for example we can choose uh, 1080p or full screen or select an area to record uh, we are go to full screen because uh, that is normally how i record my tutorial okay and the next thing well, we have here is system audio and microphone. For the system uh, audio, you can disable or enable it by clicking on this button. And you can also adjust the volume of the system audio. Okay. For the microphone, you can uh, click on this button to select a microphone to record. So uh, currently, I'm recording with my Romas MP1 Pro. So this is a, a USB mic. So I'm going to select that and you can also adjust the the volume of the microphone here also so you see the gain level here uh, right it's, it's it's very interesting and technically you will have the webcam recording function here but this is just the version 3 of this software so the webcam recording function is not available yet but they promise to upgrade it in the next version okay so we are waiting for that uh, and once you're done, you can click on this button to record the screen. By the way, uh, for those of you who want to have more setting of this uh, software, you can click on this gear icon. So I'm going to click here and we have three options here. First one is the basic record option and the second is record times option and the last one is the cursor option. At the basic record option, you have the you have the option to save your screen recording. So this is very important because this is a folder where your screen recording will be saved uh, whenever the program crash or stuff like that. But uh, you are still recording uh, your screen. Uh, you need to find find the recording file here, so you can change this one to the location that you want by clicking on this button, and then you can select another option here, right? Uh, okay, I'm going to cancel it. And here at the shortcut area, you can select the shortcut for your sh uh, for to start and stop or uh, pause the screen recording. I'm going to reset it to normal here. So normal normally it, uh, the shortcut to start and stop recording will be Control R F11, and you can select the action here. Uh, take a snapshot or uh, take a screenshot or start a new file or stuff like that and then you can uh, press the shortcut on your keyboard for example now I'm going to change my stop and start recording to F8 and that makes, makes sense for me so this is the first option and the second option record times option so you can uh, enable this to start manually and end after so after a period of time it will start the recording and end okay 
and actually honestly this function I'm not I'm not using this function very much okay so I can disable it for the cursor option you have the option to show your cursor or hide and the next thing is a highlight cursor it's very interesting you have the pointer here this is a default and you can click on this button to have more and you can even click on this plus button to add your own uh, pointer for example I can add my image here as a pointer and then click okay now my pointer become my image and the next thing is the highlight click and you can also select uh, click on this button to have some other option here for example this one I think it's cool and finally uh, you can click here to go back to the recording toolbar and now you can click on this record button okay start recording so the recording toolbar has been minimized to tray so meaning that it will be in this area okay and then you can click OK and there's a countdown now the screen recording is uh, recording my computer screen so uh, I'm doing some other stuff on the screen if I want to see the, uh, the toolbar I'm going to uh, click on here at this notification area and then click on this button okay okay so this is the screen recording toolbars and uh, here is a pause button and this is a stop button and we have a scissors button this uh, this button is very interesting because when you click on this button you will save the first the first part of your screen recording and your screen recorder will start recording again and again so uh, you have different parts uh, while recording a long uh, a long screen recording uh, for example when i click here uh, it will save the, the first part of the screen recording uh, in this video at the editor and the cow uh, the timer will start uh, from zero again and when we click here uh, it will save a part of the screen recording here uh, as you can see here the timers will start from zero again and then uh, finally we can click here to stop the screen recording or we can press F8 as I um, shortcut on my computer yeah is the same okay so this is uh, my screen recording I can close this one and delete everything on the timeline so we have this part and this part and this part and this uh, all the screen recording here and we can uh, right click uh, sorry we can uh, right click on one screen recording and then find details uh, so to see that the detail of the file is 1080p 30 frames per second and b rays and stuff like that and we can click ok now you want if if you want to edit this one this screen recording you can just right and drop it onto the timeline and back to media and now we have this this is a screen recording very nice right and if you want uh, if you have uh, some um, some background noise or stuff like that you can uh, double click here uh, and go to audio and you can denoise it uh, right here with it uh, with a feature in inside this video editor and you can just uh, put everything here to merge the screen recording into one file and now okay like this and you have a complete screen screen recording and being mentioned that you have many other tools here because uh, this is a very very easy to use video editor so if you want to learn more about this video editor you can click on the uh, the card I put on top right or top left of the corner uh, here okay and of course uh, finally you need to export your screen recording and you can click on this button to export the screen recording into mp4 mp4 here and put it a name and output part and stuff like that and you can click export all right so that is how you can use uh, Ace Movie Video Editor Screen Recorder. If you have any question, uh, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.